Rectanon. This septanon, we are going to learn about the word set, the third son of Adam, set. In Hebrew, it is pronounced shet. Okay, it is from Genesis 4.26. It is written, And Adam bore a son, and called his name Set. For she said, God has appointed me another seed instead of Abel. Okay, the verbal form of Set is shut. Shut, okay, it is composed of two consonants one shin and next tav. So, according to lexical meaning, is put or set, make like, or to take one's stand, according to strong lexicon. But the, according to the Cambridge commentary. The word shot in the sound does not supply its strict etymology. So etymological, etymolo etymological ex explanation of this name shed uh, is unclear. That's the problem. For example, set probably means granted. The name may also mean appointed. So it's different each other. Okay, shut. In the verbal meaning shut, it could mean to drink or to sip. Okay, another second verbal meaning, we put, placed, set, made. Uh, this is the, the meaning of dictionary, Milon. So, in one word, views of this name, views of this uh, language are diverse due to long period of being scattered. Hebrew people forgot many original meanings. Okay, many years, more than 100 years, and then Judah, People, Jewish people, they spent captive life uh, 70 years in Babylon while they are living without Bible, without the synagogue worship. Many of them forgot the original meaning of the biblical language. So this word shot is one of them. Thus the assonance or sound of the language has a delusive or deceptive element in etymology. Etymology means studying up the root word, original meaning, so that this writer feels the strong need to attempt to interpret the word shat according to the ancient Hebrew picture letters. Okay, as you know, picture letters, every picture uh, carries the meaning. So we are searching after the meaning, original meaning, by interpreting the picture. Okay, try to find out the letter Shin or Sin and Tav here. Let us review ancient Hebrew alphabet. Okay, uh, it is written from left to right. Original Hebrew, they wrote from right to left. It is English form from left to right. Okay. Okay, let us read together. Repeat after me. Oxed, Alep, Alep, and the Beit, the house, and then Gimel. The Gimel means Kamal, Camel. Okay, Bet, Dalet, Dalet means door. And then Hey, Hey means Spirit of God or appearance of God. Okay, Vav. They stand back. Zain. Looking like a skate blade, but it's a handy knife. Sword. 
or knife, okay? Hat, the temper, shape of temper, hat, and then round circle. This hat, there's a basket, food container, and the yacht, arm and hand, yacht, stretch out to hold something, and the cuff, that is palm, shape of palm. Uh, you may imagine function of palm, hold on, or protect, or occupy, or seize. Okay, lamet is a staff, staff, staff of shepherd. So you, could, you may interpret shepherd. If a shepherd over people, then he's king. What, uh, if it is verb, lead someone, okay? Okay, ma'am, there's a water wave, ma'am, water. Noon, so fast moving, tadpole. Fast moving, meaning is quick or alive. And the samek. Samak, this is the simplified thorn bush, acacia bush. Okay, next one. Ain, the shape of human eye. Ain, meaning see, perceive, okay, and know the meaning. Okay, pay, mouth, pay, mouth, or language, or speak, uh, that's the meaning. And the chade, the Round one, and then there's a tail moving. It's a picture of moving animal. It's a picture of uh, blooming flowers. There's a moving. There's a moving in the flower blooming. There's a moving in the grass growing. So yeah, it depends on the context. You may apply it. grass growing under the sunshine, or flower blooming under the sunshine, or the uh, moving the animal. To drink water so in that way it describes a moving of living beings and then the lower lowest line cough the horizontal line there's a round is a, a sunset or sunrise cough the meaning of this picture letter uh, evening or sunrise early in the morning uh, okay biblically Time of sunrise and sunset, there's a worship hour, daily sacrifice. So, so this is the starting up the understanding, the meaning. Okay, rash, you, do you see human head? Human head, rash. There's a human head, really. Uh, stand for man. You may interpret man. Okay, shin, three front. Why well, somebody interpret there's a front teeth, front teeth. So meaning eat. When you get angry, you expose your uh, front teeth. But it, uh, in many cases, it is a shape of uh, woman breast, shin. Woman breast is called shad, according to Hebrew language. And the final one, cross, cross mark, tav, cross mark, tav. This cross mark started in the primitive era. Okay, uh, I, I wish you to remember, shin, okay, the final two consonants, shin and tav. Uh, if shin and tav combine together, the, what kind of message? could carry. Okay, shot, shin and tav. Shin and tav, shot. According to ancient Hebrew picture letters, the shin, okay, shin describes woman breast. The so meaning is woman, wife, or mother. Or sometimes nursing, milking or sucking milk, okay, tav, cross mark, meaning a signboard, functioning a signboard or a visible mark to indicate something distinct, precious or noble. Let us attempt to interpret picture of shat. 
It is also one of probable guess, but it is based on description of pictures. So personally, I trust in this interpretation because it is based on picture, ancient picture letter. All we have to do, interpret properly, okay? Number one, Shet, the name Shet seems to describe his appearance. Appearance, because it is used to mark, okay? Visible mark, cross mark. Like uh, maybe the face of Shet was looking like a mother or motherly character or looking like woman. Uh, that's the meaning of Shin. Okay, second, number two, Shet may describe his distinct manner. His manner, his character is like a character. It's like a woman or it's like a mother. So, motherly care. Set is the man who provides motherly care or tenderly care for others. Oh, that's the nuance of Shin. Okay. Is it relevant to you? Is it acceptable to you? Clearly, okay, Shin means the woman breast. And then Tav means mark, visible mark. So sure visible mark of woman, visible mark of uh, feminine character. Uh, that's the meaning, that's the interpretation of shut. Okay. Um, this is the uh, very the imagination, imagination about the background of this. Uh, the name, the shed, and okay, we have learned about Cain. As Adam's first son, Cain was too much strong and wild. So the first parents, Adam and Eve, most probably seemed to hope to have another son, another son who has a tender character, not wild, not strong. Brutal. So, Shet became a son who has a very much gentle character like a woman. But he became the father of godly children. Okay? He was not looking manly man. He was not looking like macho, but he, he was a godly one, became a father of godly children. So, uh, from the set, godly line, a human being originated. When it comes to spiritual warfare, the seed of Adam and Eve should trample and crush the head of Satan aggressively. Therefore, the episode shows that they wait for another ideal seed. Well, as you read the Bible, Bible record, there's no mention about uh, uh, satisfaction or praising about the life of uh, Seth, just the father of the godly line, without mentioning any additional word. So, uh, this writer guess in this way. Therefore, this episode showed that they wait for the parents first parent wait for another ideal seed ideal son who shows tenderness but spiritually strong one who has a hard fighting spirit against wickedness of demons our savior jesus shows the both character he is loving and but he's righteous and then, as you read the gospel Synaptic Gospels, as you read Synaptic Gospels, you may see, you may feel both two kinds of feeling. God is merciful. Jesus was merciful. Jesus shows us tenderly, the image of tenderly, shepherd. 
the first photo and second photo, he exercises strong authority, powerful authority to cast out demon. Okay, so I'm going to tell uh, balanced Christian, the character of Christian, balanced character of Christian. Number one, okay, we must be like God and we must be like Jesus Christ. We must have tender character, loving character. But it's not enough. When it comes to uh, facing trials, when it comes to uh, facing the exorcism, casting out demon, we must stand in full authority. We must exert the heavenly power in the name of Jesus. God is love and God is righteousness. Okay? So we must keep, we must try to keep two different characters of God, character of Jesus. Okay? As you carry this kind of both the character of Christian, then I might say you are a balanced Christian. Okay? I wish you to be a balanced Christian showing two kinds of character of God love and righteousness okay this is the end of our class today god bless you the heavenly peace be on you shalom shalom see you again later on see you again later on